in this video you will learn what and how to use the top three figma plugins for more and improved accessible designs so welcome guys good day everybody good day my name is david and on this channel i talk about product design and figma how to do's and design how to do's if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe and for the farms here yeah, you know you know you know the normal so let's move on right to the like the main events of this video so in today's video right we're going to talk about three figma accessibility plugins for designers and you need to know them because they are going to greatly help your design and help you do better job right so on the first things before we move on let's talk about the benefits of accessible designs first of all right why do you need to have these plugins why do you need to know accessibility and all that First, it increased business potential for your user base revenue. There's a statistic that over 1.3 billion people have disabilities. And designing for them, covering that metric in your design, right, brings a lot of user attraction to your website because they would use your website to perform whatever they need to do because then it suits them. You, you won't go to a barber shop that doesn't have seats to wait for somebody before you get to barb your hair, right? You will you go to a shop that is in lost in North seats where you can sit and wait for somebody that's still having to thing so you can go. So that kind of thing, you you will get more user revenue for your business, it will increase your traction. Then the second one is you will avoid potential lawsuits in the future and save your business from bankruptcy. Websites in the US, platforms in the US are getting sued to court for designing websites that are inaccessible. So designing access knowing the benefits of accessibility and adding the thoughts and the mindset to it in your design will help you greatly, right? It makes it easier for users to find you by improving your SEO. Like once your website is better and is 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 improved in terms of it's more accessible, right? Google automatically resets your SEO in the point that it start it's it ranks top when they search for your name or they search for a certain topic where your website falls into. Right? It improves your SEO big time. So improves the overall copy image of your company's brand. So a website that is more accessible will be talked about more. Will be, you have all this word of mouth adverts that increase, and then your brand automatically and your business looks good because people are yeah that website is good. It's more accessible. It's easily like it's easy to navigate. So those are like one of those very very good benefits of accessibility and you know in your designs makes you a better professional designer. When you start adding accessibility into your designs, when you start thinking towards that, when you start adding sorts of it, making it known, right, you become better, you become better at design, you become a better designer. And personally, for me, that makes sense because I have been able to do that in my designs. Even I work at Unkoku, I'm trying to like improve, you know, the accessibility of our learning platform and how people learn and you know how people learn the language Ibo. So it makes me a more professional designer. It increases, you know. The way you design increase your professionalism so let's move on to the top three figma plugins for accessible designs number one is the a11y color contrast checker number two is stack and number three is contrast so i'm going to move on to the first one right now which is the a11y color contrast checker and then we're going to go straight to the figma right now i'm going to see how that works so we're in figma right now right and here we're just going to test and show you how those plugins work. First of all, you need to install those plugins. If you don't have them installed, you can always go to your community channel here on Figma and then search the word A C C E S S B I L C accessibility, basically. Right? Um, so you just search the word yeah, accessibility, and then you go to the plugin section, and then you see different plugins that have the tag accessibility on them. So for the first one is the A11, right? Where is it? Where is it? This is it here. You can come here and then you can install the A11. And from here, you just install the plugin, click install. I have stack installed. I have contrast installed. I have disable install. I have A11 color contrast checker installed. So let's get right into using it. So for the first one, I'm going to use this website, this landing page I created as an example. And I'm just going to select the landing page Go to my plugin section and then get the A11 contrast and then click check and I can see the errors and the mistakes that okay this is inaccessible it doesn't fit the A the triple A standard so from here I can readjust this to this point and reduce the depth of the color make it darker from here also I can readjust this and automatically it is then fits and more accessible 
So moving on, we are going to talk about stack, and I'll use this to example. Stack is, I think, stack is paid. So uh, currently, I'm not paying for it, so I'm going to be very careful here as I'm using it. So where is stack? So this is stack. I'll just check the vision check vision simulator here and use that as an example to show you how this looks. So there's a video where I talked about how you know colorblind people see contrast in terms of color and all of that. And we're just going to use that to explain right now. So I'm going to come here and generate this is for acromatosopia. I don't know how to pronounce it but it's for people who have this ability to see different shades of colors. I'm just going to generate that now so you can see for yourself. So for someone who is colorblind this is how they see this right and based on previous videos that I've made explaining what color contrast is and how to design for colorblind people i'm very very sure i have written the mark and that I, this is a pass because now you can tell the difference between this and this to know that there are different shades of color they are the same shades right know that this this shade is looking exactly like this for somebody who is colorblind if you want to find out more about what i'm talking about here in terms of the color differences right there's a video i made earlier you can check the description below or wait to the end you will see it to pop up by the right hand side or the left hand side of your screen and you guys understand why i made the example but basically the contrast between this background color and this color is not the same that just helps the user understand that yeah this emphasis here there's something here and this color here right now it just putting emphasis out yeah there's something here right so this plugin stack can help you in understanding oh these are the color differences this is how somebody who is colorblind will be able to understand what's happening here and contrast so for contrast i'm going to explain what contrast does and how to use it in figma the contrast i'll just duplicate this it's called contrast so contrast how contrast work is see contrast here i can select and then check it out for example now i selected this right and i'm saying this is normal text this is text 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 i'll just select from here this button which is better so this button passed the test if it didn't pass the test let's imagine this was a light right and uh, let's select this you see that it's going to fail in it failed in normal text failing this let's reduce this contrast a bit now you see that it's failing if you increase the contrast to the higher points it's passed the double a and triple a standards for large text and graphics right so how do we then improve this for the normal text you have to you know keep on increasing it and increasing the colors so it stands out very well but then if you are doing your test and you're using contrast if you pass the double a and this double a here let me change this to gold and double a or triple a standard for contrast right that's good to go yeah set to go this normal text is not really a necessity but you can always 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 design to make sure you feed it triple a as well but you can pass triple a for graphics and for large text for contrast and you're good to go so those are the three plugins i have for you for today thank you very much for sitting down to this video thank you for watching i hope you have learned how to use these three awesome plugins to improve your accessibility and design you should always check the link in the description below all this on the screen the benefits of accessible design the blog the link is in the description accessibility guidelines seven things every designer needs to know about accessibility and accessibility according to the web web content accessibility guidelines you can check the link in the description below to get this these awesome blogs and guides and instructions that can help you improve your design on the long run thank you very much for watching this video i hope you learned if you know also about accessibility and how you can design better accessible products don't forget to like subscribe and tell me in the comments any examples of other plugins or accessibility issues that you've noticed anywhere before thank you very much you can follow me my twitter is drones and my linkedin is david ego so you get the normal like subscribe and leave a comment below see you guys next time